Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Hashim Dawi, your English teacher from Salam Academy School. I hope you make full use of staying at home, and I hope that I can provide any help with this video. Today, inshallah, we are going to deal with Prep 2, New Hello, Unit 13, Schools Around the World. Before we start, it's better if you bring a paper to write any notes and answer the questions I'm going to give you. Let's start. Nursery school, this is a place for children aged 4 to 6. Primary school, school for children aged 6 to 12. Prep school, for children between 13 and 15. Secondary school, a school for children between 16 and 18 usually. What is a private lesson? It's a lesson that you go outside school. Uniform, clothes that you have to wear at school or at work. Exam is a formal test. Necessary. We call something necessary when we need to do it or need to have it. Other vocabulary we have sweep the floor. I often sweep the floor to help my mother. Do the washing up. Doing the washing up is the activity of cleaning the dishes after eating. After doing the washing up, you may dry the dishes. As the lady in the picture, in the picture, she dry the dishes. Make your bed. Every day, I make my bed. My brother makes his bed. My sister makes her bed. Finally, we have set the table. For example, I have to set the table before meals, when you arrange the dishes before eating. Set the table. Practice time. Now, try to answer these questions alone. Pause the video. Try to answer them before checking your answers. Now, check your answers. Okay, try to correct these underlying words. Now, it's a grammar part. This grammar is talking about obligation and the lack of obligation. We use have to or has to to talk about rules and things that are necessary. I, we, you, they, followed by have to, he, she, it, followed by has to. For example, we have to go to school on time. I have to make this video for my students. My sister has to do the washing up. My father has to work to earn money. Don't and doesn't have to. We use don't or doesn't have to when we talk about things that aren't necessary, something that isn't very important, so you don't know, you don't need to do it. So we put the subject and then don't or doesn't followed by have to and the base form. We aren't late, so we don't have to hurry. My sister doesn't have to wake up early on holidays. He doesn't have or has to work on Fridays. Sure, he doesn't have to work. Questions. Yes or no questions. We start with the helping verb, do or does, then the subject and the have to. Do you have to sweep the floor? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she has to dry the dishes? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. What about the WH question? We start with the WH word, followed by the helping verb, do or does, then the subject, and have to with the base form. What does she have to do at home? When do we have to arrive? Now, stop the video and answer these questions alone. Check your answers. Try to correct the underlying words.
language function. In this part, we are going to know how to ask and answer questions formally and informally. When we use the formal language, the formal language is used when you are talking to your manager at school or at work, or when you talk to anyone who is older than you. You must use the polite request. Like the example, do you mind if I ask you some questions about? The response, not at all. Excuse me, could I ask you some questions about? Yes, of course. Could you tell me whether you have to sweep the floor? And whether here means like if. Could you tell me if you have to sweep the floor? Asking and answering questions informally. We use the informal language when we are talking to a friend. Hello, is it okay if I ask you some questions? That's fine. Do you have to sweep the floor? So he asked the question directly, or he said, is it okay, because he is talking to a friend. This is the informal language. Let's check those two many dialogues. The first dialogue, the response was, not at all. So the, the question must be in the formal language. For example, do you mind if I ask you some questions about? The second mini dialogue, the response was, that's fine with me. So, the question must be in the informal language. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? That's fine. Try to read this dialogue and answer it. Finally, we are going to deal with the word formation. How we form the word? Usually most words are consists of prefix, root, and suffix. The root is the main part of the word. Like the example here, we have count. This is a verb. Okay, when we add the suffix, it became countable. Countable means able to be counted. The prefix un gives the negative meaning. Uncountable, unable to be counted. We can't count it. Uncountable. So we have many prefixes. We have un, im, and in. And all of them give the negative meaning. Friendly, unfriendly. Healthy, unhealthy. Usual, unusual. Necessary, unnecessary. We use M with patient, impatient, possible, impossible. We use N with correct and formal, correct, incorrect, formal, informal. Try to choose the prefix that use uh, that suitable to each word. This is all about Unit 13. I hope you have interested the video and I hope you all the best with your study and your exams. With my best wishes, Mr. Hashim Adawi. Thank you.